So this is going to be a brief overview of the axial and appendicular skeletons of the human body. The axial skeleton are bones of the skull, vertebral column, and rib cage. We see here highlighted in blue. We're going to spend more time in other videos learning about these in more detail, but for right now just know this is part of the axial skeleton. In contrast, the appendicular skeleton are bones of the upper and lower limbs, shoulder, and hip, highlighted in the pink-red color here. And also these will be gone over in more detail. Right now, it's important to identify these two different subcategories of the human skeleton. Looking a little bit more specifically at the axial skeleton, what that's composed of, they said the skulls, many bones that compose the skull, the vertebral column, we're going to learn about the different regions there, and the thoracic uh, rib cage and how these different ribs differ. Uh, the axial skeleton supports and protects organs in body cavities, and attaches to muscles of the head, the neck, and the trunk, it's important for respiration and attachment of muscles as part of the appendicular skeleton. Speaking of the appendicular skeleton, these are some of the bones here you should be, become familiar with and be able to identify these. The clavicle, the scapula, the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the hip bone, the carpals, the metacarpals, the phalanges, the femur, the patella, the tibula, the fibula, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges are just the basic overview of the appendicular skeleton. And all these bones, at minimum, you should be able to identify. And again, this is just that quick overview of axial and appendicular skeleton with other videos to provide you with more details on the different regions within these skeletons.